Okay, it's nine o'clock. Appreciate everyone joining me this morning. Welcome to our first Zoom of our Longevity Memory Keeping uh, meeting. Glad you could join me. And um, we have Lisa that's going to be watching the questions. She's having a little bit of a snag getting on this morning, but she'll try and watch. I'll try and watch. We'll see what we can do. Uh, this is being recorded, so I will post it later on today. Uh, so that everyone can refer back to it if you would like. And we're going to be pretty brief today. Uh, we're just going to go through some new things, and uh, hopefully this will be a good resource for you. And the good news is we have um, quite a few um, of our images already done for you that I can share later on today to help you advertise the new things that are coming up. So Looks like we've got a few more people jumping on here, and so we'll just give them just a minute and stall. Uh, for those of you who this is your first time, I'm Stacy Croninger. I'm the um, product manager for the Memory Keeping Brands, and I'm excited to have you here today. So I'm going to go ahead and launch into, um, I'm actually going to share my screen first, because if I don't do that, you won't be able to see um, my screen. So... Hang on, and remember, this is you know always a learning experience to actually have it uh, work the way I think it should work. So, just one second, and I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to get my screen up because I've done this before, but you know it never works the way you think it's going to the day that you actually want it to work. And. Hang on. Trying to find the option to share my screen. Here we go. Okay, sharing my screen. Let me launch into my PowerPoint. Please let me know if you can see this screen because I want to make sure that everything comes up properly. Kimberly, you've been good to respond to me. Anyone else, can you see this screen that says the Longevity Memory Keeping Brands, hopefully? Oh, yay, thanks, Karen, appreciate that. Okay, so this is our June call. We're gonna go over our new products for July, look at some product information, talk about promotions and sales, upcoming events, resources, and our next meeting. If you have questions, feel free to type them into the chat and um, we'll have uh, people that will answer them for us, whether it's someone that's on the call listening, or like I said, Lisa will be on. Uh, she will help us answer those questions, and I'll try and watch as well, okay? Starting off, we have Heritage Makers Studio. We have four collections that we're adding to Studio this month. Three are basic, and one is premiere. This first one's called Brighter Days Ahead, um, and the thing about this one is it's fun for the summer. It's got some sunny things, but it's really kind of a great year-round one because it's got all sorts of different designs. And yes, it's got some flowers and things, but it's got some good basic designs. You'll see that um, there's this fun arrow pattern on the paper. We've got some diagonal stripes. There's this fun hot air balloon. Um, lots of text and um, options that you can use for creating cards and your stories and all sorts of fun things. So look for brighter days ahead um, as a basic collection. Then we have a new artist that we're working with, and she does these fun watercolor designs. Now, this one is a very small collection, but it has some great things in it. For example, it has all these papers down here at the bottom. And then she's got these cute frames that are very watercolory. It comes with a font that you see here, and it's got some um, other little things like stars and arrows and backgrounds um, that you can use to enhance your uh, pages or your projects, uh, but it's just a great watercolory look, and it is in blue. Um, so we'll look at other things that she has in the future, but we thought we'd try this one first, and it's called Time and Joy. Up next, Hello Weekend. Uh, I don't know about you, love the weekend, love all the things you can do on the weekend. And this is a great one as well for your everyday things, but it's got some very um, trendy things in it, like cactuses and pineapples. Um, it's got these fun retro designs, but it's also got some good basic things that you can use year round. Again, we try and find things that you can use year round as well as for special occasions like 
summer things. You got your beach house and your chairs. Um, so this one's a fun all around, but summery kind of feel. It also would be really fun for uh, your vacation pages as well. In our premiere, we have a lakeside retreat. How many of you love to go camping? Oh my gosh, camping. And actually I haven't camped for a while, but we do go fishing quite a bit. Uh, so this one you see has catch a fish. It has uh, your boats and things that you would be doing if you're camping or out at the lake. Um, and again, lots of papers here, lots of embellishments and some fun word art as well. So that wraps up what you'll be seeing in Heritage Maker Studio. Uh, we also, oh, I forgot that we also have some new fonts. I apologize. Um, I will go and show you what those new fonts are because I have it in one of our other slideshows. So if you'll give me a minute at the end, I'll show you what new fonts we're also going to be adding for July. Now for uh, our Memories for Life, the Memory Making Club this month is all about vacation memories. Uh, so we're giving you a variety of things. And remember that this includes a free product, which this month is our Bling Bling Designer Cartridge, as well as free shipping because it is an auto ship product. It is $58, and for that $58, you're getting this wonderful list of things. From the It's a Kid's World by Lauren Hines collection, you're getting designer cardstock, the two-inch border strips, the toddler and magical experience variety, and then the pocket journal cards. You're also going to get the pocket primary border strips by Katie Pertit. These are um, a good basic collection that really work well with the It's a Kid's World. So whether you're using them um, as additional mats, or because uh, I like to put extra mats on my two-inch borders, or if you're using them independently in pocket pages, they're a good variety. And then two different card stocks, Sunshine and Strawberry Red, because these look uh, great with this collection. Okay, So don't forget to sign up for the Memory Making Club. Um, so that you can get the free shipping and get your free bling bling uh, design cartridge to go with your border maker system. Now, Anthology is launching a new item as well. It's called Club 52. This is like our, our Memories for Life uh, Memory Making Club in that this is an auto ship item. So each month you'll get a kit. Uh, you'll also get a free product and free shipping. It is $52, thus Club 52. And in this first one, it's all about um, the Better Together kit and how you can use this for making layouts. So you're going to receive eight 12 by 12 pieces of white cardstock that you are going to make layouts with, as well as you're getting four 4 by 6 white greeting card bases with envelopes. The really cool thing is, you're getting color instruction sheet that tells you how to make each one of these layouts as well as the cards. And there's a stamp set that's in the Better Together kit, so your free item this time is the acrylic stamp block set so that you can use those stamps. And let me tell you, this kit is amazing. There are so many creative things you can do with this Better Together kit. And um, Cynthia has really worked hard with Lisa to get some fun layouts. Um, and the instruction sheet, like I said, is color. It shows all the layouts, all the cards, and uh, it does set you up for an auto ship. So when you purchase it, it will automatically put you into an auto ship that you will then receive the each month's Club 52 kit. Okay, so each kit will allow you to create at least eight 12 by 12 layouts and at least four greeting cards will be in every kit with those instruction sheets. So make sure that you uh, get signed up for this. And remember, 52 weeks a year, 52 layouts, 52 cards, and of course, made by you. We're very excited to have this new Club 52, so make sure you check that out. There's been some sneak peek videos, and we'll get some more videos out to you shortly about that. Also, um, Anthology has uh, created a partnership with Keller's Creations, which is a company that's been in the scrapbook industry for a long time, and they have several kits. The first one is this one that's called Tropical Blooms and Whispering Lilac Paper Collection Kit. In it, you're going to get 110 pieces, 55 pieces in the Tropical Blooms and 55 pieces in Whispering Lilac. We don't have the pricing set for this yet. We'll have it the next day or two, so I'll get that information out to you as soon as I can. But you'll notice that you're getting card stocks and you're getting um, 
border strips and these cute little guys that you can punch out with either two inch circle punches or one quarter inch circle punches. You have journal cards that you can use. Um, and this kit is strictly paper items. There's no instructions that come with it. It's something you can use for whatever your little heart desires. Now, if you're looking for something a little more structured, then we've taken those same designs and created two page layout kits. The first one is Tropical Blooms, and the second one is Whispering Lilac. And I'm just showing you examples of some of the page layouts that you can make with this. Um, each kit includes everything you need to create eight two-page layouts, that's 16 pages, um, and instructions on how to maximize your supplies. It's amazing what you can make with just a few supplies. And you'll see that this also takes advantage of Keller's rings, which are one of their signature pieces um, that allow you to highlight and um, kind of call out different parts on your layouts. So look for that, and it does include an instruction sheet that has all the layouts that you're going to be creating in this particular kit. Okay, so again, two different kits. One is these colors from the Tropical Blooms, and one is the Whispering Lilac page layout kit. And the last two kits are coming from Keller's Creations for Anthology are wall hanging. And again, using the same kits, Tropical Blooms and Whispering Lilac, not the same kits, but the same colors. And so here you'll see the, um, the wall hangings. These are based uh, on chipboard. So each one of these little guys is a piece of chipboard that already has the little um, holes punched in them. The paper is sized so that you can put it on here and then you just decorate, add your photos. In addition, you're also getting an accordion tag, which like the word accordion says, it's multiple folds of a cute little tag that you can use as a gift card holder. You could use a photo display um, and there are instructions for creating the wall hanging as well as the accordion um, tag gift card holder. Um, and additional tips on how to maximize those supplies. So you can get one or both or all, but there are five new kits coming from Keller's Creations created for Anthology DIY, and those will be available on July 3rd. Because July 1st is on a Saturday, we are launching everything on Monday, July 3rd. If you happen to have um, an auto ship that launches on the 1st, if you sign up for um, our members for life or whatever, it will fulfill at that point. Okay, let's talk about our promotions and sales. Heritage Makers 10% discount the rest of June until Friday. Canvases and wood prints are on sale. Now for July, we're looking at additional types of prints, but these ones are 11 by 14, 18 by 24, and metal prints. So you'll see here a few examples of things you can do. Uh, these guys are 11 by 14 prints. Uh, they are easy to adapt to metal prints as well. Um, love this pineapple quote. So cute, so trendy. Uh, these, uh, the we're visiting Mickey and X days, if you put on UV coating on these, they become right on wipe off boards. You can also do this on a metal print like this guy, and you could write on this and wipe off on it. Okay, so great ways to create home decor items or countdowns, whatever it is you want to do with it. Coming up in August, we have magnets and notepads on sale. And then in September, it'll be our storybooks. Now, our Memories for Life had some great sales that started in June, and we are continuing those on. In fact, you'll notice they are going through August 31st. So just a reminder, we have some collections. Come Away With Me, this guy here. Playful Primary, this guy here, Red, White, and Beautiful, and Blue Skies, and each of their pricings are listed here. The prices are different in each one because they have a varying number of components included in those kits. We also had two of our design cartridges, Japanese Fan and Sports Ball, on sale. And then we have all four of our remaining paper punches on sale, so you'll see the prices there. These are 20% off, great pricing. We do have this new image for you to remind people don't miss out. Okay, and again, while supplies last through August 31st. Now to add to this roundup, we have two new sales that will be available for July and August. This first one is a back to school and sports bundle. And we've done a little bit of mixing and matching here. So we have It's a Kid's World by Lauren Hines, designer cardstock, as well as the two inch border strips in the school and sports uh, area as well as the pocket journal cards from that same collection. Then we're also including the pocket primary border strips from Katie Pertit because again, 
those colors match beautifully with this. And then school days, journal cards, which are the ones that are a little bit bigger than the pocket ones. They are amazing for matting photos, for um, adding a, a double mat to your journal card. You can use them for all sorts of things. So look for that. And then the last thing is the artichoke solid core cardstock. Now, in this bundle, you have two options, and there are two codes here. So you're getting this bundle, but you're getting either free top loading sleeves or free traditional page protectors. So if you want traditional page protectors, you're going to order this uh, SKU right here. If you would like uh, new top load, if you'd like top loading sleeves, you're going to use this SKU here. Okay, so everything down to the artichoke solid core cardstock is identical in both kits. The only difference is if you want top loading sleeves or if you want traditional page protectors. Now this again is while supplies last and it is through August 31st. Okay. Um, we have a question from Kathy. Will there be any new border cartridges coming? Uh, they are working on some. Don't know the timing of those, but as soon as we are aware of them, we will definitely let you know. Okay. Now, next up, our other new thing for July and August are three additional uh, design cartridges, okay? So we have the Butterfly Lace, this guy right here, the Music Notes, and the Zigzag. Now, these guys we picked because they uh, work really well with some of our collections that we have on sale right now. For example, Music Notes. A lot of times our kids are involved in school things that involve music, so that's a great tie-in there. Um, zigzag to me is just a good classic design that you can use with anything, whether it's vacation or if it's back to school or sports. Um, so because of those cute diamonds that are in there. And then the butterfly lace is just an elegant design that I think ties in beautifully like with the come away with me or the blue skies. So make sure you get these. They will be 20% off while supplies last through August 31st. That makes them $12 each. Okay. So those are our, our Memories for Life sales. Remember, the ones that we launched in June are now available through August, and then these new ones will be available for July and August. All the sales will start on, um, we'll try and get those launched for you on July 1st, okay? So the new products won't be available till July 3rd. Sales will start on July 1st. For Anthology DIY, we launched this one in June, and it will continue on through July. Uh, the CEO kit, which is pictured here on the right, is a good um, basic everyday set of layouts. There are all sorts of themes in there. So you'll see this one says you are beautiful. There's a celebrate one for birthdays. There's um, one that's kind of looks outdoorsy. I love this set just because of all the flexibility you have with it. Okay, so the CEO kit that includes eight two-page layouts is 3430. Then we have the Canvas Exchange Kit that um, has these fun summer things in it. It has the adventure ones, the travel guides that you could put out. It also has um, some patriotic ones. And I can't remember the third ones. I think it's the boot and other guy, but I can't remember for the life of me, okay? But this is a great one to add to your collection for a summer dec decorating. So 1960 for that cute Canvas Exchange Kit. Um, Helen's asking, since the sales are while supplies last, will they be reordered or discontinued after they sell out? They will be discontinued. Um, although, let's see, I'm trying to remember now. Let me just go back to make sure that I'm telling you correctly. Uh, yes, these are collections that uh, and items that we've had for a while, and so they will most likely be discontinued. Um, I can't guarantee it for like the music notes, but some of those original design cartridges, I know we're moving through those. Um, oh, thanks, Lisa. The other Canvas Exchange 3 is a design flower garden themed one. Phew, thank you. Uh, will there be more Canvas Exchange kits? Um, I know that they have talked about working on those, but I have not uh, seen any new designs, so We'll have to check and we'll get back to you on that one, Debbie. Good question. Okay. Now, the other thing is, is that um, 
and don't ask me why we do Christmas in July, because really we just passed the six month mark uh, for Christmas, but we are going to have some Christmas in July sales. They're going to run Monday to Monday, so there will be an overlap for you because we don't want them to um, expire on the weekend when you might need to get with customer service. They will be starting July 3rd. We will have sale items for each of our brands, so digital and traditional, which digital includes heritage makers and snap to finish, and the traditional, which is our Memories for Life and Anthology DIY. The sales will be announced a few days before they start because there's nothing like gift giving than having that surprise, okay? So uh, we won't be announcing all the sales at one time. You'll just have to wait for those gifts to arrive because that's what Christmas and gift giving is all about, okay? So watch for Christmas in July. Of course, in July, four weeks worth of sales. Each week, we will have four different items that have um, a sale. Okay. Now, Studio U, we are in the process of revamping this because we do have so many product lines that we have available now. The time Studio U was launched, it was only Heritage Makers with Studio. So uh, we are changing things up. We have set the date, Thursday, July 20th. We'll be using Zoom and we will get you more details on exactly what will be covered. Um, so Keep that in mind, save the date. We may even change up the time, not sure. We're just kind of looking at everything we could do for Studio U to make it effective for everyone um, across all the brands, okay? So mark your calendars, Thursday, July 20th, Studio U. As always, I'd like to remind you about the resources that we have available. So we have the Longevity Memory Keeping Brands Group. If you are not a part of that, please ask to join that. Uh, the only requirement we have is that you be a longevity distributor. So um, if you have people on your teams that uh, would like to join, then please feel free to add them. Um, but the reason why this is a great group to be a part of is because it's a resource area for things like project sheets, PDF versions of the sale flyers, we post Facebook headers, squares that you can share on your social media. Um, there are logos in there. We have the individual sections of the idea books. Okay, so we're trying to make this a resource center at this time until we have um, a, a universal place where we can post things. Okay, so let people know this is where they can find those things. Also, each Wednesday, we do a Create With Us Facebook Live segment. It's Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. We rotate through the three brands. Yes, we will add Snap to Finish to this um, once it is officially launched. So this week we're doing our Memories for Life. Then next week will be Anthology DIY, Back to Heritage Makers. And by then I'm thinking we might be ready to get Snap to Finish into the mix. No promises on date there, just kind of throwing it out there, okay? Uh, so join us. I do record them so that you can use them later. Actually, I don't record them. Facebook Live automatically does it for us. Uh, but it is a fun resource because we go through and create a project. Some of them are a little bit different than what you would expect to use from our products. It's a great way to show the versatility of what you can do with all the products we offer. Uh, some of our leaders have set up a website called YGY Social. It identifies upcoming Zoom meetings. It also has a listing of different uh, resources you can use there. And one of the things that uh, they do is virtual crops. I know Candy did one last Friday. Um, and it's a great way to get your customers educated about the different memory keeping brands. Um, so check that out to see what upcoming uh, events they have coming. We also have our idea book online um, on, at Heritage Makers. And as I mentioned, there are sections available of each of the PDFs. If you prefer to just have like the anthology DIY section, you can go and get the PDF from our Facebook group, okay? Um, and then there's a virtual mini catalog from uh, May for our Memories for Life that's available. We'll have a new one coming out in July with the sales and things listed in that, and we will get you a new link once that one is available. And if you're working on Snap to Finish, uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, not Snap to Finish, you're in a snap. This is uh, some additional resources that you might want to be aware of. Um, and we know it's a busy time in the summer, so we're going to have a big old huge launch party in the fall because that seems to be a time we kind of nestle back into our homes and want to pull out those photos and start working on our albums and things. So we want to get people excited about that again. 
Uh, Helen wants to know, can you please post the direct link to the OMFL mini catalog in this chat so folks can just click on it to access it? Uh, are you referring to the ones that I have this link here? Whoops, back, sorry. Okay, yes, hang on just a minute and I will hop out and get that. Okay, Kimberly's asking, since some sale items may be discontinued as noted above, can you post on the Memory Keeping Facebook page which ones will be discontinued and which ones will be reordered? Um, if I know, uh, I will post that. Um, for now, plan on anything that's on sale as being items, and I'm going to qualify this for Anthology DIY and for Our Memories to Life, that they are being discontinued. Um, I, if I find out that something is not, then I will um, post the ones that will be reordered. Thank you, Lisa, for posting that link. Bless your pumpkin heart. Okay, does that answer that question for you, Kimberly? And Helen, thank you for suggesting the link. Okay, my friends, uh, including border making cartridges be discontinued. Yes, some of those original ones are being discontinued. I need to check on the music notes. That's the one I'm not positive about. Um, but those original ones, yes, those are being discontinued because that way we can bring in new designs. Okay, some of those have been around since uh, our Memories for Life joined Longevity. So we want to uh, clear them out, bring in new designs, get people excited about new things. Okay, and it's a great way to stock up on your supplies. So let your customers know that these are, if they love them, they better get them because they may not be around in the future. Okay, uh, we have hit the end where we are going to see if there are any additional questions and I'll leave this up for a minute so that we are going to meet again Tuesday, July 25th at 9 a.m. We will continue using Zoom and the great thing is this link is the same link you'll use every single month, okay? So you don't have to go hunt down a new link. Uh, it's just like go to a meeting that we used before that it has, uh, it uses the same link month after month, okay? Any other questions that you have? I'm actually going to hop out of this PowerPoint and quit sharing my screen, which that means I have to figure out how to do that. Hang on just a second. Oh, the new fonts, thank you, thank you. Okay, new fonts, let me go find that folder real quick. Oh, not in that one, stuff to sort. Please don't look at all the things. Oh, phew, it opened down the other window. I don't want you to see all the things I have to sort. I had to clean off my, my um, desktop because it was so pathetic. Oh my goodness, it was bad. Okay, this is what we showed you in Studio U. Let me launch this little guy here. Here are our new fonts are coming. Bigelow Rules. Don't you love that G? There are some letters and, out and fonts that I'm just like, ooh, they just make me happy. Okay, and uh, the cabin sketch, kind of a, as it says, sketchy type of font. Cherry Swash, Grand Hotel, great vibes. That's such a beautiful script font that will look great for invitations to think. Homemade is that fun, handmade, scripty look. We've got Limelight for big, bold things. Sale has that uh, thick and thin thing going on. Then there's Walter that also is a kind of a handwritten font. And you know what? I think we debated on how to say this last one. I'm gonna go with Zincomit. Who knows what the name is? If you would like to uh, come up with how to say that name, that'd be lovely, okay? Those are the new fonts that you're going to see in studio in July. Hope you're excited about these new fonts. We've been having fun. Um, looking for new fonts that we could uh, do. So let me see if I can get out of, I don't know where I put, oh, stop sharing. There we go. Okay, my friends, you're back to me. Any last questions before we wrap up today? I really appreciate you joining us. Hopefully you're enjoying this Zoom approach to things. Um, and we'll finesse things as we go on. So thanks for your patience as I jumped around my screen. Any other questions? I'm not seeing, oh, thanks, Holland. So glad you enjoyed it. And try and stay uh, cool today. I don't know if it's um, warm or not where you are. Um, nope, you won't get reminder emails anymore because I don't believe Zoom sends out reminder emails uh, but they will be posted on Facebook 
and then um, we'll look at other options to make sure that you know when this is coming up, okay? How do you save the link? Uh, you could copy and paste it into a Word document and uh, or drop it into your calendar, whatever it is you wanna do. Uh, that would save that link for you for another time. Oh, and you can just save the Zoom meeting ID in your calendar. Yep, that's a perfect way to do it. That's the great thing about Zoom is you can use it from your computer, your phone, your tablet, wherever you'd like to. Uh, Oh, you're right, uh, Nancy, I will update that uh, site. I forgot about that. I will update the YGY homepage to include uh, that uh, Zoom link. Thank you for that reminder. Any other questions? Because if not, I'm going to wish you a very happy Tuesday. Have a wonderful week, and uh, we will see you next month, if not before then. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.